Hi everyone, this is Gore. Today I'm explaining how to remote access to Raspberry Pi from your Mac or Windows computer. Alright, let's get started. First, you need to start at the terminal and type sudo raspconfig. After started up, choose number 5 using a down key, interfacing options, press enter. After that, you can see the interfacing options. Choose P3 to turn on the VNC server. Press left key to select yes and press enter again. So now VNC server is on. Press tab key to select the finish and press enter again. VNC server is already on. You can close the terminal window. Type exit, press enter. It's gonna be closed. Then you can check the IP address on your Raspberry Pi. Mouse over to the network icon. Once your console hover on it, you will be able to find out the Raspberry Pi IP address. In this case, 10.10.22.121. You can ignore the continuing slash and 24. That's uh, explaining about something, but in this case, you don't need to use it. So don't forget the IP address, you will use it later. Next, setting up the VNC server. Right click on the VNC icon on right top and choose the option. Select the security. You can leave the encryption, the prefer on, and authentication method is currently selected Unix password. So I will change it to the VNC password. Once you hit the apply button, you need to type the same password twice and press OK. And I got the security warning. In this tutorial, I expected you to use this VNC server feature within your home network. So if your Raspberry Pi is directly connected to the internet, I don't recommend these settings. And press OK and press OK again. Then it's ready to access from your computer. At first, I will access it from my Mac OS. Open up the spotlight and search the screen sharing. That's maybe you can see it on the top, screen sharing the app and double click on it. Once this dialog is appeared, you can type the Raspberry Pi's IP address. Also, you will be asked the password. Then press sign in and you are now ready to use it. It's definitely not for watching the movies, but this is a remote access, so you don't need to connect USB mouse and the keyboards. It's gonna be easier to use it. Do this again from your Windows computer. There's many VNC clients for Windows 10. However, I prefer to use a VNC connected for the compatibility. Link in the description. Okay, click on the button. You will get the installer. And this is a file I downloaded. Double click on it and choose the language and press OK. And to press next, check the box for the agreement and press next and click the next button again and install it. After the install is completed, you can search it from here to type the VNC and it will be there. So VNC viewer, click on it, then start the app. So you will see the welcome dialog and uh, I prefer not to send uh, usage information to the VNC so I unchecked it. It's up to you though. Type IP address at the address bar which is we checked earlier, then press enter. You will see the this dialog at first time connecting just to make sure signature with your Raspberry Pi. This is a screenshot from a Raspberry Pi. You can find the signature at here. Of course, both signatures are matched because you're connecting to the Raspberry Pi. So if it's a different signature, there is a problem. It might not happen within the home network. Continue and type the password, which is we set it up before. If you prefer to remember the password, check it and press OK. Now you are connected to the Raspberry Pi. If you're using a faster network, it will be less delay. I think wired network is always better than Wi-Fi network. So this is a whole process to how to connect Raspberry Pi from your computer. This is only for your home network or a really small limited network. If your Raspberry Pi is directly connected to the internet, I do not recommend this method because this is not so secure. It's gonna be a security problem in the future. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, press like button. If you don't like it, press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.